So if you watched my video from a little bit ago, I basically did a bucket list with everything that I want to do in the next 10 years. And one of the things on that list was to collab with Kristen McAtee. Now, if you don't know who Kristen McAtee is, she is one of my favorite YouTubers. Her main premise and most of what her videos are is cooking. So to get this collab, I gotta cook. So this is my audition to be Kristen McAtee's sous chef. For this video, I wanted to do something that I have never done before and something that I don't think Kristen has ever at least made a video for. So I wanted to create a poke bowl. Now I personally am vegetarian, so I can't eat fish. I found a recipe that has a like a watermelon poke, which sounded super interesting. So why not do it? I created that this morning. Here's a little montage of it. Ooh, I had no idea what I was doing. Said to have the watermelon marinate in the sauce for at least a couple hours or overnight. So I did that around 11 a.m. this morning and it is now 7.25. So it's been a couple hours. I took it out. It smells like pokey. Bowl. The poke bowl itself, I used quite a bit of different websites for a recipe because poke bowls are usually just different things like fruit and vegetable that you want in it. I will link the main uh, vegetarian poke bowl recipe that I found in the description below as well as the separate article that they had for making the watermelon pokey. So it calls for the rice, the watermelon pokey, organic tofu, which, where did I put it? Oh. I have right here, I'm about to cook this as well. Um, small avocado, slim, thinly sliced, and then other toppings, uh, soy sauce and sesame seeds. Sesame seeds, it said uh, to get black sesame seeds. I could not find where it said black sesame seeds, so I just got regular sesame seeds, and after I opened it, that's when I was like, wait, this is what goes on burger buns. But you can also use it for poke bowl. I just would have rather had the black sesame seeds, but it's fine. We do what we can. This is a great audition, one of my best. I'm doing so well. The thing that I did add to it myself was mango because I know mango is something that I put in my poke bowls a lot, as well as like sriracha mayo, spicy mayo. I have to cook the tofu. The rice is already cooked. Watermelon, <laughs> well, well. Watermelon is already marinated. Kristen's not gonna hire me. She's gonna find another sous chef or she's gonna realize she doesn't need one. She can do everything on her own. What a great video. Anyway, okay, let's cook this tofu. Did I try the watermelon before putting it in the bowl itself? I'm a little nervous. What if I don't like it? What if it just tastes like watermelon with soy sauce? All right, well, here we go. Bottoms up. Dude, that might just be the sauce, but that's fire. Ooh, that's so good. Ooh, ooh I'm excited. Okay, I'm excited now. I, I have no doubts anymore. This is gonna be killer. This is gonna slap. I'm gonna love it. Here we go. Oh, also cucumber. I have cucumber as well. Basically for a poke bowl, you just cook the tofu and the rice, and then you just assemble everything together. That's kind of why I wanted to do this, because it sounds so simple. Let's hope it's good. Also, the avocado, why is it so big? Like, I saw this and I was like, there's no way this is, this, 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 this. there's no way I can talk. There's no way that this is an avocado, like a sim single one avocado. But it seems like it is, and it seems like it's about to be bad. So good thing I'm doing this today. Alright, alright, alright. No food's cooked, rice is cooked, watermelon is marinated. I just have to cut these up. And then I think that's it. So easy. Please tell me that this avocado is still good. Please tell me it's not bad. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, yeah, this avocado is not good anymore. Oh, that was just a really. So we don't have avocado. That's fine. We have mango and cucumber. Also, notice the lack of cutting board. That's fine. So, as I am doing this, I wanted to 
tell you guys uh, the list that I made of reasons why I should collab with Kristen McAtee. Do I sound like a stalker or something? Do I sound creepy? I'm... Which, with each passing minute, I regret this video more and more. So in no particular order, I just wrote down what came to my mind. So the first thing, a while back, I had somebody in school found my YouTube channel and I told her, I'm sorry. She's like, no, don't, it's great. But you remind me of somebody. And guess who I reminded her of? Kristen McAtee. There we go. She said that we both had the same energy. We were both super chill with our videos, um, which is great. And I told her, shut up, you're lying. That's a huge honor. I am thrilled. I have succeeded my channel now. I can do anything. Also, as I was saying that one, I realized something else that's not on this list, but I'm gonna say it anyway. Um, we have the same first and last name starts with the same letter. Um, Carly, Kristen, McNaughton, McAtee. Also, she could be considered McAtee, but I see why she goes by McAtee. I could go by McNaughton, but you see why I go by McNaughton. So we are very similar with just our names. Oh, I just remembered something else. Around this time, a couple years ago, um, I got noticed by the Christian <laughs> This sounds so weird. Oh gosh, I sound creepy. I commented on one of her videos about something and she responded to me and she said blah, 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 blah. Also, I really like your name, obviously. I took to Twitter, I posted a screenshot of her saying that to me, and she saw that too. She liked it, and then she replied, ha ha ha. So, from that day forward, we have been best friends. Oh, okay, we both love Ariana Grande. She became a fan during the sweetener time. I have been a fan since Victoria's time, and that's not me like gatekeeping, like I've been a fan longer. That's me being like, dude, I can tell you everything that went down during those times that you missed. So that's cool. There's conversation right there. Awesome. Next on the list, she has a podcast where her and her friend Alex basically just act like older siblings and they give advice to people. We are similar in that regard because I have an older sister. I also listen to the podcast. The next thing on the list is that she's on my bucket list. Um, I already talked about that, so we already know. We already know why I'm doing this video. We know why I probably have a restraining order against me now. Next thing on the list, I wanted to look up our compatibility for our zodiac signs. I, for one, am not very uh, knowledgeable in the zodiac world. But I know Kristen is starting to get into it. I wish I could get into it, so I just wanted to look it up for funsies. Because I know she is an Aries, I'm a Libra. I didn't think, I really thought that this was going to be like, you guys are terrible together, you guys will not work out, you'll fight all the time, you'll hate each other. Actually, it was quite the opposite. I found this website, I don't know how accurate these websites are. But I just thought it was funny. It just says, this friendship is remarkable as these zodiac opposites have a very special way of making things work between them as buddies. So Kristen, we can be very well together as friends. So I just need to, I just have to put it all together now. Oh, oh we're almost done. Okay, this is exciting. I'm very happy. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Okay, in hindsight, I probably should have cut the cucumbers smaller. A little bit of soy sauce. Or a lot of soy sauce. Jeez, okay. Le spicy mayo. All right, presentation could be a little bit better, but it's fine. Um, And then the sesame seeds. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at this bad boy. Look how perfect and beautiful he is. Please don't taste awful. <laughs> I made poke bowl. I made a poke bowl. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. I need to get a photo of it first because duh. Let's give it a little taste test because what's a cooking video without a little taste test? Um, I'm gonna get a little bit of everything. So there's rice, there's mango. I'm gonna skip on the cucumber right now just because it is so like 
large, I want to like be able to cut it up. <clears throat> I got the spicy mayo last. <laughs> oh my golly gee relicers. This is so good. Oh my, everybody make a pokeball at home right now. Right the second. You guys were making bread during quarantine? No, you should have been making this. Oh, I'm definitely gonna be adding a little bit more watermelon. I'm gonna cut up the cucumber a little bit more. Um, but honestly, dude, this is why did it take me so long to try to make this? This is so good. Oh, Kristen, girl, if you need a sous chef, I'm right here for you, babe. Oh, I'm gonna make this literally every day. Oh gosh. I'm gonna make a second bowl for the boyfriend and he's gonna taste test it himself as well. I hope he likes it, otherwise I'm gonna look like a liar to save face. <laughs> right, here's a little close up of his. I did sriracha sauce instead of spicy mayo just because he's more of a sriracha boy. What kind of, is this a Pikachu? Did you already make that joke? What? Is it a Pikachu joke? Oh my gosh. No, I didn't make that joke because I didn't know what you meant at first. Is it good? Yeah, that watermelon hides pretty well. Actually. Mm -hmm. So it's good? Yeah. You're not lying. And it's drenched in sriracha, so I love it. I can be a sous chef for a, for a, uh, for a, for a cook. Are you applying for a new job? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> ah, okay. Sure. You could be a veggie chef. I'll take it. Pokemon. Stop. <laughs> Gotta, gotta eat them all. Stop! <laughs> so there we have it, folks. I am officially, unofficially applying to be Chris McAtee's sous chef. I think it worked out pretty well. This is so good. Mm. Oh, I have something else to cook besides pasta. You know what that does? Slaps. <laughs> That was such an awkward place to do that. Thanks for watching. Kristen, if you watch this yourself, I'm sorry, slash, please don't put a restraining order against me, slash, I hope you consider me for the job, even though you weren't hiring for it. Make sure to give this video a big like or a thumbs up, whatever you like to call it. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the post notifications so you don't miss an upload of mine. And I'm gonna go finish this Poke Bowl. I don't have an outro, so I'm just gonna cut off right here.